K E seven TRP. It's gonna be a test of uh, forty meter double bazooka made of RG eleven coax versus an eighty meter length open wire line fed uh, antenna. A doublet and uh, using a Johnson KW matchbox with that. That's the doublet. That's the bazooka. Bazooka. Doublet. Bazooka. Doublet. Bazooka. Open wire line doublet. So as you can see, there's no comparison. The 40 meter double bazooka beats the uh, open wire line doublet. Even though the open wire line doublet has 126 feet of wire versus about 66 feet of wire, it uh, doesn't seem to be helping. It also picks up uh, a lot more noise. I can maybe show this by looking at the baseline on the scope there. That's the bazooka. Open wire line. So you can see that the static there on the noise level on the uh, scope is also uh, much higher on the open wire line antenna. So I've made probably uh, two pages of contacts now on uh, 40 meter AM and sideband and there just doesn't seem to be any comparison the uh, double bazooka wins this test here. Um, I've also experimented with raising, raising and lowering the double bazooka because it's on a, a rope and pulley. The 80 meter doublet is on the top of the tower. The tower is nested uh, because it's monsoon season here in Arizona. So it's uh, probably about uh, 40 feet for the uh, 80 meter doublet. And I've ran the double bazooka at 40 and then all the way down to 20. It's at about 30 right now. Even with it lower, 10 feet lower, it, it still, uh, still beats the open wire line uh, uh, doublet. So that's uh, that's the test here. Um, thought you guys might like to see it. I'll switch back and forth a couple more times here. This is the doublet. Double bazooka. Doublet. This is the bazooka here. Doublet. Very close, but the, the bazooka does have stronger signal. The main thing, it has less noise, and uh, the receiving station just seems to kind of jump out of the speaker with that uh, better signal to noise ratio. So, KE7 TRP, uh, thanks for watching.